Yeah, man. Yeah, man. How we doing, chat? Early stream today. I've got some stuff to do tonight, so... Anyone that was in... Uh... Yeah, anyone that was in yesterday's stream, I apologise for being grumpy, but... We're chill now. So, brand new profile. I don't own a truck. Absolutely brand new, so we're starting from scratch. I can't get on the survey yet, because... Yeah, I can't get on the survey yet because uh, we don't have a prof. Uh, we, for some reason, quick jobs don't work online. So we got 103 k's on this job, and then we'll probably get another couple of jobs in. Long time since I've started a fresh profile, so no fancy sound mods, just trucking. How we doing, man? Lovely. How are you doing, dude? Hope you're well. Hiya, Mythic. Hope all's good. Ramad, how's it going? Yeah, I hope you're all well, man. Struggling on Calmsden, nice. I had a little, uh, a little mess about this morning with the view, so hopefully you are all happy. I think it looks, uh, looks about as good as it's gonna look. I think. I haven't got any indicators at the minute, so we'll have to sort that out. We stop. Sounds nice, this thing. Appreciate you there, Mythic, mate. Much appreciated, yeah. Yeah, I think it looks good. I've been streaming the last couple of days and a lot of the view hasn't been on this side, so I've tried to kind of equal it so you get a full full truck cab experience. And I think it looks all right, to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, I'm fairly happy, like... We're driving somebody else's trucks for the day today. I'm hoping to get online, but the quick jobs don't seem to work online, so. I will be on the server as soon as I can. Game and watch because you're working as a plus a pest controller. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I did. Uh, I did five mile with a dog earlier, and then I took the dog to see one of my old school friends who's just opened a shop near my girlfriend's house. So I went. To, we've been there for the afternoon. Now she's tired. So. I'm gonna do a couple hours now and then I'm gonna go and get the garden sorted and whatnot.
The new guys here in sea okay, so the screens look okay. Hopefully everything looks alright. Working in Finland primarily. I bought I bought a garage in Finland, so Let's disconnect that. Right, that's that sorted. So uh, let me pop over to this. Uh, we'll go along with long jobs to start with. Just need to open SV Mapper. There we go. Nice, right. I wish I could do this online, but I can't, so. Can your top line. I'd rather not do... If I can stay away from ferries, I'd prefer that. Gonna have to run the ferry, aren't we? Ferry it is, boys.
Yeah, uh, the ETS2 is still crashing on me. Yeah, you'll be doing something wrong. Jump in the Discord and one of the moderators will help you. I can help you, or one of the mods will help you. You're driving somebody else's trucks. Yeah. Good though. How do I get on the ferry? You don't need to apologize, man. How are you? I am on a brand new profile, man. You're meant to be working. Oh, it's dark when it's dark, I tell you. Got me on your phone, have you?
The lights are terrible on the stock truck. No, don't own any truck. This is day one. I have no idea. It's not my truck though. You can question it all you want. I don't own the truck. Just a quick job. I will when I can afford to buy another one, yeah. Definitely. You'll see once I finish this job, it's not my truck, so... I've seen a pie in about 12 years at this point. Uh, you can put it on the Moza hull, but I bought a quick release. So my mine's on a uh, just a standard quick release, so just to give you an idea. Yeah, mine's just on a straight quick release. So just bought straight on. before he got a smart mouth. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be the burn of your life, man.
Uh, I'm working in Finland at the minute because I don't own a truck yet, but the problem is I can't get online because you can't do quick jobs on the server, so I'm hoping to get one bought fairly quickly. Enjoy. I do on Twitch. Not not very often, but I still play it. Uh, Fifteen grand. I'd rather not do ferries, like. That, that's a small ferry. So it's that or that. I'll do that. She's quiet. That was not bad though, you know. drive anything mate I'm I'm not bothered drive's actually quite nice this you know
I prefer Scania. But I do love both. Howdy, how are you doing? Hi, Daryl, how's it going? Okay, so yeah, I adjusted it slightly. So you get a little bit more of this window now. So yeah, you get a little bit more of this window. Same window on that side. Looks good. I pull, I pulled the rig back. So I pulled the rig away. I'm really far away from the screens now, <laughs> so, but for the GoPro, it looks, I think it looks spot on. I'm doing good Audi man, yeah, really good. Got, got the rig all cleaned up and... Yeah, really happy. I come and say hi, gotta go. Peace out man. See you later. Uh, yeah, yeah, so... I actually bought one, uh, I bought one off eBay, so... Yeah, that's, that's what we're on with at the minute. My new wife wanted me to come back to YouTube. Awesome, man. Where did you go? Were you playing on Twitch, were you? Right, 270k left on this run. So what I think I'll do is, I think I'll do this run and I'll do one more. And then we'll go and buy a truck and then we can get online then.
tell you what, the new ear cups I got for the headphones are night and day. Like, insane. Headphones are so much better now. And I never bought this headset for the headset. I bought it for the uh, for the microphone, obviously. So, and it is good. The mic's insane, like. Now you get back on the farm as well, man. Need more time. No, I didn't remove them all, it's just a different wheel. This works not bad, you know. It's a standard sound, but it's a modified standard sound. Sounds good, doesn't it? I got the phone you back. I was in the pet shop when you phoned us. Alright, Ted, how are you doing? Yeah, engine sound sounds really good, it does. Yeah, this thing sounds good for a stock truck. Sounds lovely. Afternoon, Mr. Danny, how are we doing? I've just left it on 900. I've used 900 for years, man. He's got a fine 500 quid, bastard.
are you doing, Blunt? Anyway, you're all good. Yeah, so for anyone interested, I ordered one of these off eBay uh, just as a test. So these they're about thirty-two pounds. So I'm gonna get another two when I can. One for drifting and one for me other truck wheels. So. A little bugger. Hi, Ben Payton, I've got you. I haven't got an air suspension mod, no. I've got an air mod sound, but no air suspension mod. Nice this, you know. Chenvery. That is really good. <laughs> Missed it. I think we're just going straight over, in it? Yeah. How do we get out of here? We'll try and get up to 20 grand before we buy a truck. Turbo sounds on this sound amazing.
I know, can you imagine? I'm only doing like 30 mile an hour late to be fair, but... It's also not my truck, so I'm driving it like I don't own it. Whose truck is it? It's just a borrowed truck. Okay, boys. Yeah, I've got all my mods pretty much sorted now. I've got the server that I play on full time. My wheel, everything's great. So, be fancy starting again. Bad boy off. Right, so we're sitting at 21 grand, so if I can get one more, if I can get one more uh, borrowed job in. One more. Staff. 22.
got like 320k. That's not bad though. That's two ferry rides. Five grand. Oh, well, that. Give that a try. Low on power, this one, boys. I don't think we'll go for this for the first truck, like. Struggling, boys. Can't have a thousand horsepower. No, but like the old trucks pulled is completely different. I'd never use thousand dollars for the trucks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not, not, not very often. Four fifties kind of be normal. Oh, oh, we're not coming off here, bastard. My bad. My bad. We're going this way. I saw the right turn come up. I was like, that's where we're going. Yeah, I think this is like 220 horsepower, so it's just with 22 ton on it, it's just struggling. Like, I absolutely love it, mate. Like, I, I, honest to God, really, really do love it. Definitely, I wouldn't go backwards, that's for sure. Can't change the settings on the fly. You can change the settings on the fly better than for now. Yeah, you can definitely change the settings on the fly. It's better better than for now. Hundred percent. You obviously didn't look into it too much. What did you buy instead then? Part of the DD2, holy shit. Well, enjoy, man. Ah, oh, you couldn't pay me to go back to Fnatic. So what wheel did you get for the DD2, like wheel rim? Yeah, from your, ah, there you go. Nice, man. What what motor were you gonna go for? If you went for the DD2, I take it you were gonna go for like the R16 or something then. So the o the only downside to the DD2 is the slop in the quick release, like the, the well I can't I can't demonstrate it, but the the wobble in the quick release is terrible. But hey, you'll love it, mate. Honestly. The, the Fnatic stuff, I always liked the fact that you could adjust it on the fly. What I didn't like was the adjustment wasn't that great. Oh, what the fuck? How do I get over there? Well, why is, this, why is that a road then? Oh, I'm going to have to hop over the barrier, man. Where is the... Oh, it is in here.
Sorry, I had to sneeze. Yeah, that's a shame, dude, though. But at least you were looking at the moors and stuff, but obviously it would have been a big swap for you anyway, so... You'll be chuffed a bit, dude, that's the main thing. But yes, you can 100% adjust Moza on the fly, and you can also fully customise Moza on the fly as well. You can change the direct drive curve, you can change the rev lights on the wheel, you can change, the, change everything. Brilliant. If you want to know how to do it uh, on the fly, uh, just let me know and I'll show you. But uh, I don't really want to big up Moza for you when you've just ordered your new wheel. You'll enjoy it, mate. I I've been a fanatic fanboy for years. I just wasn't willing to spend 1400 quid on a DD wheel. So, yeah, you'll love it. Got the BM wheel, rally wheel. Uni hub. Yeah. Cool. I've got to be honest, for what the what the hubs cost, the the Moser stuff is just mental for that money. I don't know if you've seen any of my other wheels, but Yeah, they definitely outperform like just the build quality is just fantastic. The good thing is your DD2 will be better than this R9, but they're in two different price points, so yeah, uh, you'll love it. Hi, right, Luke, how are you doing? And to be honest, I've been on Fnatic for five years. The, the, the wobble side to side doesn't really bother me, but it is shit that the wobble's even a thing, but I kind of learned to live with it, to be honest. See you later, babe. Take it easy. So what do you reckon, chat? Do we do, uh, do we do one more job before we buy a truck? So basically, my problem is I can't go online until we buy a truck. That's the issue. But yeah, Paul, let me know if you want me to show you how you do stuff on the fly with Moza. I'll show you. Obviously, it's too late for you now anyway, but... Can't believe you didn't know you could adjust stuff on the fly, man. That's, that's a shame. Yeah. Just, mate, the... The, the quick release, like, uh, these ball quick releases, mate, like, you get a zero slop. The literally 20, I think, a 29 quid to buy. You get no slop at all. Like, at all. Like, I really can't rag it because it, well, it doesn't move anywhere. But yeah, so with Moza, you got the software called the Moza Pit House, right? So just, just just to give you some idea. So you have the Moza software called the Moza Pit House. Uh, the software is fantastic. It really is good. So this is the Moza Pit House software. Bear with me while I get it open. Obviously, I don't have a wheel connected at the moment. Uh, because I've just got a normal wheel base connected, but you can see, obviously, everything works. But the software is so adjustable, so you can pick all your presets and that, which obviously you don't really get with Fnatic. You also, you get all of this. You also get, obviously, all the torque curve. I mean, you can literally do everything to it. Obviously, I... I stayed with the whole ecosystem, so I get all me, all me pedals as well. I've got the universal hub connected, so I've got the shifter handbrake, literally everything connected. So it's awesome. 
But yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah, so obviously if you want to adjust it on the fly, you can install it on anything. So I've got it on my phone, so I can adjust it while I'm driving. And also do it on the tablet while you're driving. Uh, I would not go back to doing it on the little stupid display at all. Like, not, not at all. Being able to do it on my phone, on my tablet, is just awesome. I can literally drive along and just adjust it or mount, mount my phone on the phone mount. Really good. And the main thing is, you can adjust everything on here. You can do all the advanced settings, you can do the equalizer settings, you can literally do everything. And you can do presets and programs and... Uh, the app is probably one of the best parts of it, like, to be honest. I don't have a phone app on my SimCube Pro even. Yep, I know. You can't change that while you race though, if I'm correct. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously you would need your phone mounted somewhere, but yeah, I mean, I can... I can... I can adjust it right now, so I can... Uh, what do you want me... What should I do? Let me concentrate where I'm going. But yeah, so I can... For instance, if I turn the force feedback up, I mean, I can't, I can't turn it now, but <laughs> I can then turn the force feedback back down. That's nice and nice and light. I can adjust the steering range. I mean, you can literally adjust whatever you want while you're driving. So yeah, you can adjust the force feedback intensity, the wheel spring. So if I do like a hundred percent spring. You can see how how springy it is. But I don't run any spring. If I turn the spring back off again, it's nice and light. Yeah, you can do everything while you're driving. But it's epic. But it's better than the than doing it on the little stupid thing. So. For the money, mate. Okay. The D, this com this competes with the CSL Elite. I don't like any of the CSL products. The plastic, I, d I just don't like the build quality on the CSL at all. So I, I really don't like the uh, the CSL. I don't think Fnatic has done it any favors personally. But that's what this competes with. Apparently, there's a a little bit of detail better in the Fnatic than there is in this. But detail's no good if the build quality's shit. So for me, I'd rather have good build quality for the money. And if I want better detail, I'll go and buy the R16. I mean, the R16's what, 750 quid? But still, I can't get the DD2 for me. What is it? 1200 euro, is it? 1100 euro? And then it's 25 pound. It's 25 pound per 100 pound in import tax. So if you spend a thousand, you've got to pay over two hundred pound in import tax. Plus, you've got to pay the postage. Plus, if you want to get it repaired, it's a nightmare. Plus, there's already faults with the bloody thing in the first place because the wheel slop. I mean, there is not like there's no wheel slop at all, like at all. Oh no, Paul's already a Fnatic user, so Paul's better to just go with Fnatic. If I could have afforded to go Fnatic, I would have gone Fnatic, which would have been a massive mistake. Now, I'm realising how much of a mistake it would have been for me, but that's my opinion. Like, if Paul's got £1,200 or whatever laid about and he wants to go and buy, he's, he'll love it. Honestly, he, he will love it. He's already got all the Fnatic stuff. He's already got all the different wheels. Uh, but for me, for the cost, just now, nah. just now. Nah. He, he's in the same boat I was. He's already got the BMW wheel. He's probably already got the shifter. I mean, the shifter, the Fnatic one. If you do love shifting, I would highly recommend this shifter anyway. For 140 quid, this shifter is awesome. Just got a hell of a feeling of shifting, like. I don't know if Paul's got like the Fnatic uh, handbrake and that, but that thing should never have been released. <laughs> it should never have been released, that thing.
have a question for your dad about War Thunder. My dad's not here at the minute, so I can't, I can't even ask him for you. No, uh, just me and the dog. He caught, well, the good thing about the Moser stuff is it's all standalone from factory. So, like, say Paul, say Paul had the Fnatic handbrake and the Fnatic shifter and he wanted to go to a SIM cube. You've then got to buy the Fnatic adapter, which is like 50 euro, to make it USB, which is just stupid. But all this stuff's already, you know, all this stuff's already USB, straight from factory. The downside of this stuff is you can't plug it all in the wheelbase, but to be honest, it doesn't matter. You don't really have a need to plug it all in the wheelbase, so... You want to know one of the biggest, biggest benefits, right? Being as though we've got some interested parties in, right? So, seeing as though we've got some interested parties in, let me show you what really made a difference for me. So, one of the things I love about the BMW wheel, the Porsche wheel, all that, right, is the BMW wheel and the Porsche wheel have uh, thumbsticks. One thumbstick on the right is a is a push button, right, left, you know, right up, down, left and right. The right one's a push button, the left one's a joystick on the Fnatic wheel. On this, they're both joysticks, right? I was a bit gutted about that. However, one of the cool things is, again, and this is... This is the other bloody the thing that I just can't get away from. Is if I bring you back over to here. And I bring you over to this. This is the best thing about the Moza stuff is just the software. So the joysticks. You can change the joysticks from a joystick to a to a to a button. So all the joysticks are programmable. You can either have uh, a joystick or a button, same as a handbrake. So with a handbrake, you can either have it as. See if we can find the handbrake for it, but it unplugs at the. Moment. I'm gonna not gonna cooperate today, is it? There we go. So with a handbrake, you can either have it as a button. So for Euro Truck, Euro Truck won't let you have an axis as a handbrake. So you can have it as a button. So once you get to there, it presses the button. You can also get hold of that and just move it. So if you wanted the button to activate further on, you can. Or you can run it as a normal axis for drifting and whatnot. And it works on how far you pull it. Software is amazing. And... Yeah, the handbrake's 95 quid. The Fnatic one's in, an embarrassment for the money. It really is. But the software is probably the best thing. That, that and the sheer build quality. But yeah, that and the sheer build quality. The, the build quality on this stuff is just... You just can't make it up. The fact that it's just all aluminium. I mean, everything's aluminium. This wheel's 250 quid, for God's sake. Like, I know that seems like a lot of money, but it just isn't in the sim racing world when you've paid three, four hundred pounds for a wheel rim. Everything's aluminium. The only thing plastic on it is the button caps. That's it. And you can take this rim off and put a new rim on if you want. You compare that to the Fnatic Hub, it's embarrassing. It really is. Sorry, right, we'll get back on it. What one of the other things as well is the uh you know the the like the quick release, there's zero player but one of the one of the things I like about this is one, it's all interchangeable. So if you've got a, a, a Logitech wheel, you can buy a Moser shifter, USB, 140 pound, reasonable money, and you can use it with your Logitech wheel. If you're just a farm simmer, 
and you're just a Euro trucker, you can literally buy the R5, the, the R5, five newton meters of torque, that's two newton meters of torque more than the, more than the, uh, than the T300, it's three newton meters of torque more than a G29, and it's 300 quid. You know what I mean? It's, honestly, it really does hit the bottom end of the market. And one of the other things is, if you're, if you're a farm sim person with Fnatic, you need to uninstall your drivers to get centre spring. What's that about? If you want centre spring, you've got to pull your drivers out just so you can have some centre spring. Direct drive, just turn the centre spring on on your mobile phone. It's just stupid. Oh no, Paul, honestly, stay, stay with it. I've got to be honest, if Fnatic reached out to me tomorrow and said, look, can you do a review on this? I would happily review it for them. If they, if they offered me to keep it, I would happily keep it, but I would sell it. Be brutally honest. Because the, 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 the physical value of money for it is just not there. You can't say the DD2 or even the BM wheel, the, the hub, can't say they're worth what they ask. And a handbrake is an embarrassment. It's well over £100 and it's terrible. This thing's like billet. I mean, you just got to look at the handle, right? Look at the bloody handle. Just to give you an idea of what the actual thing's made out of. I mean, for one, it uses way too much thread. But this is just metal. Like, it's just billet. The whole shaft, everything, there's no flex in it. Like, I can literally rag it around. That's bolted to a, a big, thick cockpit as well. It's insane. Yeah, he has multi uh, fanatic stuff. He's in the same boat I am. I've got bloody, what, 11 fanatic wheels or something? 12 fanatic wheels? Universal hub with a rally wheel. F1 wheel, yeah. I'm buying my fanatic shifter. And yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's not good, mate, honestly. It really changed my opinion, and I'm, I'm a fanatic through and through fanboy, mate. Like, I really am. Well, I was. Do make the fanatic wheels work on other base? Probably is, but the build quality of the fanatic wheels isn't worth the cost. But I'd rather sell it. The mind. Right, so obviously. I do like racing and my intentions is to get back into racing so I would like a round DT wheel I would like something for farm sim trucking stuff like that and I would like an F1 wheel that's my three that I would like so the good thing with this wheelbase is I can just use quick releases so I can have three of these I can do two trucking wheels and my drifting wheels so that's that sorted this thing is awesome for farm sim because you can walk and you can walk and look around with these. But this is my farm sim wheel, and then I would like to get the next version up from this with the uh, clutches on. But that one's a, about 300 odd pound, and then the, the 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 F1 wheel's expensive. However, the F1 wheel's expensive. I think it's 470 quid, but it's it, it's worth it. It's all backlit buttons, full LCD, gorgeous display, like full dry carbon fibre, like billet on the back, like the things, like worth more than what they're asking for it. Hundred percent. Got your Sim SimCube Pro Two set up, expensive, but yeah, yeah. And again, I'm not going to try and talk someone out of a SimCube. Not gonna try and talk to one out of a fanatic. Buy whatever you want, like it's your money. But it's just I don't know what I'm buying. Boy MP real for rally uh ash uh, yeah or more. Oh nice, nice. Yeah, no, very nice. But like you know, with how much the F1 wheels are, cube control ones do some gorgeous F1 wheels, but when you go and look at the Moza one and you look at the quality of the stuff, it's mad. Like, 450 quid, but the wheel's definitely worth more than that. Definitely.
Yeah. Hundred percent. Like my dream setup for like Morza would probably be the R16. I'd probably go down the R16 route, and I would also go down the uh, the CRP pedals, definitely. Is that CB attached to? You? Yes. Yeah. This this is a, a live working CB. Yeah. Also try the sim tag direct drive well I mean if they sent me one yeah I, I wasn't gonna try anything like it, I'm quite happy but I'm a big ecos like fan I, I, I do like stuff matching if I can I didn't think the wheel the wheel rim I'm a big wheel rim guy so the wheel rim for the money I, I, I was not looking forward to that at all like I really wasn't I was generally shocked when it came Wheel rims are a big thing for me. I actually prefer wheel rims than the wheel base, personally. Because if I don't like holding it or looking at it, I'm never going to use it. Try the DD2, see how it feels uh, with the wheel wobble, yeah. So what, like, are you in the UK, Paul? If you are in the UK... Oh, you got it, right. Got no warranty either. Oh, That's not good. That's mad, that though. It's a shame though, because once you've gone DD2, you wouldn't really be able to go for the R9 then. You would have to go for like the R16 or. Because the DD2 is like. A brilliant wheel. But yeah, you'd have to go for something a bit more powerful than 9 new meters dot. Question for you though, Paul. On your on your V2.5, do you run the wheel at 100% on everything? Shifting, can you? Oh, yeah, you can't, you can't hear me shifting. That's the in game sound that. if you can hear me shifting or not. No, oh, it's the... What you can hear is the in-game one. Yeah. <laughs> the in-game. Oh, this mic's brutal, mate. You can't hear any background noise. And this shifter is fucking loud. Like, it is real loud. Alright, Dad. 
Everyone can't believe how much you just can't hear. You can't hear the shifting sound, you know. That's mad. The background cut on the mic's just insane. I could generally game in the same room with somebody with this mic. No bother. You're off to Grand's, are you? Off to Speedy's house. Cool. Oh, I'm going to go and have a smoke and let her out for a pee in case you need it. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to put sound back on. Catch you in a bit. Yep, there you later, mate. Uh, no, no, yes, yeah. Mors is USB. All the Mors and stuff's USB. You don't need the wheel to use the shifter. Or the handbrake. That's what I mean, if you bought like a G29 and you just wanted a cheap handbrake and a shifter, the, honestly, the, the handbrake's 90 odd pound and the shifter's, you know, and another good thing, they've got UK dealers as well, so you don't have to pay import tax and all that, just go straight on the GT Omega's website and buy it. It's, honestly. They've, uh, they've, they've come in right at the right time and they have, Nailed the market, in my opinion. A couple of little things they could change, in, in my personal opinion, but... This thing are terrible. Tell me, Dad. Oh, could I hear something? I might do I might do one more job I think. Just so we've definitely got enough money. You okay? Oh the phone app thing should be on every the phone app thing should be on every uh, comp like competitive company. Uh, why? You know, it's a shame though because Moors has come out with that. Moors have thought about that. They came out with it and they nailed it. And now other companies are going to copy. It is what it is, you know. But. You stop being a willy. You are tired. Won't get you away.
for the for the R and the seventh you have to click. Uh, so on the truck shifter, no. So with the truck shifting you can set it up so if you do scan your shift pattern. Why am I so yellow? Yeah, if you do the scan your shift pattern normally this is reverse. So just first gear is reverse and then first, second and third is the normal scan your shift pattern. But I've got it set to range and splitter because I'm driving loads of different trucks and they've all got different truck like shift patterns. So I'm, I'm driving just normal splitter. So for me, it's push down reverse. But it's not an annoying push down like Fnatic. Fnatic's got like this weird annoying push down. This is just a, you just rest your hand on it and it's just over and that way. It's so clean, not annoying. And if you don't push, that's first gear, yeah. that's reverse. But it's not like that annoying, like, I don't know how to explain it. In a real car, it's a, it's a very gentle push. You have a nice little push, but in, in the Fnatic, it's like an awkward, like, rag down. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but, yeah, you always use a real shift pattern. Yeah, so real shift patterns, that's normally reverse in a Scania. That's first, that's second, that's third. In a Volvo, that's reverse, and then that's first, that's second, and that's third. So it's separate. So yeah, right. I'm just gonna go and get a smoke. Yeah, it's just got that annoying. If you've got a fanatic shifter, you'll know exactly, exactly what I mean. Right, I won't be long.
Já. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell all my stuff, mate, if I'm honest. So the game plan is to sell all the fanatic stuff and buy me dad a Morza setup because that's what he wants. So and dad's desperate for Morza, so I'm gonna sell my fanatic gear, buy him the Morza gear, and then sell his fanatic stuff and then replace anything that I want. That makes sense. Of my club spot, though, to the yeah, oh, no. Oh, back it in. Oh, back it in. Yeah, Paul, you'll be fine, mate, honestly. The, the, the DD stuff is better, definitely. But the V2.5 was a, it was a hell of a base. I feel like the V2.5 was the uh, the 1080 Ti of the wheel world. You know, I feel like it was very, very close to uh, direct drive, like the, the budget direct drive. Very, very close. And it just outlasts anything. I've been drifting, like, I've been drifting quite a bit. It's epic, man, yeah, like. I've been enjoying the drifting, like. I've got a, uh, I've got a new shifter coming as well, a new truck shifter. I can't wait to have a go at that thing. The shifter I would never have been able to buy either, so I can't, I can't wait to have a go. At it. The, uh, the ATS accessories, full chrome, even full of custom shifter coming. It looks that bollocks. The thing is, mate, like, for, for the, like, obviously, for the current money, and bear in mind we were in the EU at the time, so postage wasn't a problem, import tax wasn't a problem. For the current cost, the, the V2.5 and the Fnatic stuff at the time was amazing, like, it was really good and it outperformed everything else, the direct drive wasn't a thing back then. 
you know, so unfortunately a lot of people went down the Fnatic ecosystem and my plan was I go down the Fnatic ecosystem, I buy a direct drive wheel at the end and then I'm sorted, I've got everything but the problem is two of my Fnatic hubs are fucked, the both of them are broken, so two of my Fnatic hubs won't need replacing, but they're 300 quid each, but then you've got the direct drive, I would not go down the CSL route, because I mean the Club Sport is built like a tank, the Club Sport's all built at aluminium and it's stunning, I'm not going to go from that to like a plastic, no, no. So I would have to go for the DD1 or the DD2 and it's just like 1200 euro plus 300 euro in import tax plus postage, like no, like way too much. Doesn't matter though, because even if Fnatic fixed the quick release, a lot of us are stuck with all the old wheels. So the current Fnatic quick release is a hundred euro just for the quick release. So their new quick release is going to be at least a hundred euro. So I've got to then spend all my wheels. So I've got four Fnatic hubs. I've got two Fnatic F1 wheels. I've got two Porsche wheels, two BMW wheels, two McLaren wheels. Yeah, that's it. So I've got 12 wheels. So then I've got to spend 1,200 pound on quick release. I'm not going to do that, like, obviously. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. No. <laughs> it's too much. It's, it's ridiculous. Me kind of monster. No, I did with it. Not a kind of monster. Yeah. Well, for, for me, Mose has got enough gear that I can upgrade to. Uh, and my dad, my dad's stuck in that problem where he can't go for the can't go for the DD2 because the way that he's got his rig set, he can't fit the DD2 on it. The wheelbase is too long. So my dad will have to go with something Moser shaped and he won't touch the CSL stuff either. So I'm so happy with myself now, though. It's just thick, man. I thought I would miss having all the buttons and that on the truck wheel, but I definitely don't. The thing is about using something like this in Euro Truck without buttons on, it forces me to use my button boxes which a lot of us don't use. Uh, 
much prefer it. And I can afford to get a second quick release for my other truck wheel, which I never use because uh, of the GoPro colour issue. But I know for a fact, once I get the GoPro sorted, um, I know for a fact I'm going to go down the line of getting uh, one of the other truck wheel back on. There with the stream deck, button panels. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got this button box, I've got the farm sim panel, which I use all the time. And then I've got this, but to be honest, I use this for my lights more than anything. The lights, and then I've got all my sound controls in here as well, so all the game sounds, all that sort of stuff. Oh, man. I'm going all the way around with the bulldozer on. Get bollocks. Yeah, thanks mate, I'm, you know, I'm happy to be back, obviously with having the dog now, it really does make life harder, but I definitely want to stick to farm sim bureau truck at least, and then uh, possibly add a bit of drifting in or something like that, but at the moment, I just want to get back to trucking and farming, and I just love the trucking mate. Seven k left, and then we go and buy our first truck. I don't know what to go. I honestly don't know what to buy. Scania, Volvo, Man. I don't, I don't know what to do. Honestly, don't know what to buy. I, I mean, the, the end go. The end fact is, I'm more than likely going to buy a Scania. Or a Scania. Buying it, I'm never but actually I was gonna say something, but I'm 100 percent not buying an Iveco as my first truck because now I'm stuck with it. Uh. I was gonna say something but one I don't trust you and two I don't trust you.
That's quite a firefighter down. Let's set up a Phillips view above my TV, yeah. Hi hey, Graham. How you doing dude? Hi, oh, he'll be back. He'll be back. 100%. Yeah, he'll be back at some point. Now, I was gonna say, well, I was gonna say something stupid like I used to. But I never know if uh, Oz is about or out, but... I'm gonna say the firefight. I'll uh, I'll I'll buy an eye echo for my first truck if he gets me an F1 wheel. But one, I don't trust him, and two, I really don't want an eye echo as my first truck. Ah, there he is. Nothing's got you down, mate. I don't know. Like you have been a bit down lately. Every time I fall on you, you sound like someone's like killed your pet fish. But you're going to be on later. Well, I won't be on later. I've got some gardening and stuff to do. And uh, I did Holly's big walk earlier this morning, so uh, she's tired now. So I've got a couple of hours. Uh, so I'll be I'll be on for a, an hour or two. I'm gonna get me first truck board. Let's go. Alright, we've got 30 grand, so we're going to lend 100. Got 130,000 euro. What's our first truck going to be? Yeah, 350 it is, yeah. Good wheel, man. Ah, see, I was tempted to go for this. This is a good truck. It's a really good truck. Eighty two grand. Hundred and seventeen thousand. I don't know what to go for, chat, to be honest. Do we go Ganya or do we go Volvo? Do we go old or do we go new?
What do we buy for our first truck, man? Uh, for me, it's between this and this. Or do we go for just the standard RGL? Awful when you gotta start with like a proper shit truck as well, man. Hi Ray, how we doing, man? Hope you well. Where's the standard RGL at? Uh, scan your G looks all the, yeah, nice. Nah, uh, I don't think I do want a Merc like, if I'm honest with you. I want a Scanny, I think. I don't know whether to just go with this bad. Still stuck with. Can't can't do a chassis. Can't do a roof chip. Oh, that's hard. Ooh, go go. Well, do we go with Volvo? There's an option. Do we go with Volvo, and then we can run a twin? On a twin chassis, uh, a twin axle, then. What do you think, chat? Hundred and thirty five with a V eight straight in it, but you want a V eight straight in it. I don't know what to go for, chat. Elsa bars are fire, though. Go straight in.
I, I honestly think we should use this to level up. Yeah. Can you? We've got to start with nothing. No, not paint. Can't paint this chassis. Exhaust on it. Chassis, gorgeous. What the stacks on? Well, you could put stacks on. What? Put a side skirt on it now. I know I haven't got any money, but why can't I, uh, why can't I bullshit do this? Rob change the mod out. I'm at you well, uh, I'm good. <laughs> Did Rob swap out the... This Globetrotter used to have loads of bells and whistles on it. Globetrotter I was thinking of. Can't do now, will it? Okay. Oh, this. No, I don't think it is level dependent though. I think the truck's just missing the parts, man. I don't want to buy a truck if I can't modify it in the future. Oh, just truck that as well, man. This one you can put on. Can't put skirts on, but you can't put can't do exhaust. Oh man, if I can't put exhaust on this truck, I'm not even involved. That point. Ah. 
Ah, uh, shit. Well, where do we go from here, chat? Ruined it for me. So we're level dependent on the axles and all that. I was going to go with a Volvo. Thought I could get away with. You don't know what to buy now. A bollock. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Do we So do we buy the Volvo, use it to make the money and then chop it and sell it, or do we just go straight down the Scania route? Obviously we could buy something like a buy something like a Or, another option, there's another option, do we go straight down, oh there's an option, do we just go straight down the, no you're right we are, but we could go straight down the trailer route, once I own a truck. So we could lend another hundred. We could go straight down the fixed uh, rigid route. So we could start with a, a rigid, like an older Scania maybe, or a Volvo. Got some top line. Yeah, so we could go with something like that, or go with. RGL. What's that actually? What's that gonna cost us? Quite happy late. That's more. Go with the old gauge. Crash or not? Are they going to take forever or it's going to crash? What do you reckon, chat? Do we start? Do we go with starting on, because we've got a few options, we could sell, we could hand 100k back, we could start with at 400k. But level dependent on can. 
for a box room. There we go. Box is a hundred. So we need to get started, isn't it? I'd have to put eight on it. Bad boy. Yeah, straight in like that. Deep truck. Not sure. I'm about it, mate. I'm 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 happy with that. Even put a sixty front end on it. I don't know what to do, boys. Oh yeah, I'd have to go a box. Yeah, definitely. We'd have to buy a trailer. I've we'll never started a profile with a rigid drop before, ever. Never started. Yeah, so I might start the profile. Do we go Scania? Or do we go with another brand? So starting the rigid. I think we should start Scania. End up. Right, so I would need around about the 200k plus trailer fee, but we're gonna gonna have to just go straight to the bank and start deep. <laughs> so we're gonna have to start deep. So let's uh yeah. So let's lend the 400. That need to be making 5k a day. But uh, you guys are gonna have to let me know. Are we starting scan yeah? Oh, there you go, chat. We could start with the uh with the next gen. We go next gen. There's an option. No, I honestly don't know where to go with this. Looks fire though. Definitely gonna go rigid. Uh we'd have to change spoiler out. Yeah, so that would bring us in at 199. Change out the box height. Don't need to. All right. That would bring us in at 199. Limited on engine. Step down to. Like 500 horsepower, but I don't know if I'll lose sound with that. Go with a 370 for now. So the question is, before I buy it, because we're going to be stuck with this for the next week or two, take a while to press through. Do we go with this or do we go with all the trucks? Or do we just go Volvo? Like, go straight down the Volvo. Dad, he's good, man. Yeah, he's good. There's a lot of different... Uh, yeah, you can change this out so you can just have like 
one door type thing. Oh, so you go. Oh. Have no door. Oh. FA3 is also rigid, I know. No, no, I mean, rigid wise, we've got plenty, plenty of options. Also, I'll go with this rigid. Take look. And cheaper. By quite a bit, actually. A lot cheaper. All side of the door, uh, work, yeah, definitely. Uh, scan you all the way, I know. Honestly, I'm. Um, never put this much effort into picking a truck, and I'm sorry it's taking forever, but I'm. Um, because I know I'm going to be stuck with it for a bit. I, I honestly don't know what to buy. Whether to go with this, or whether to go with a scan. Next gen. Uh, sorry. RGL. Do a Volvo. I know. I'm thinking about it. I'm not. The Volvo, though, the Globetrotter. Not the Globetrotter we used to have. Because you used to be able to add exhaust stacks and all that to it, and you can't now. I was tempted on the Volvo, like. Is the Volvo got custom non V8 sounds as well? Like, is the stock sound custom or is the stock sound just stock? Oh, we had bought uh, updated a long time, so yeah, I noticed because you can't like the chassis look sick, but you can't run side skirts, you can't run exhaust, you can't really do any of the main. I like doing it. heartbroken, but we're gonna run rigid anyway, so. Uh, oh, Johnny Effort, yeah, it'll be good, man. So, if all these custom sounds, Rob, I know. I hope so. Probably gonna buy that one anyway. Stick with that for now. Doing good.
201k Definitely not going white though. Yeah, so custom sounds, right? I'm happy with that, that's fine. So, see if we can what better. Light. Won't be able. I love these, but they don't put off any light. Light off them. Shocking. These things are bright, man. These things are like bright, bro. What were they? Server's alright. It crashed on me earlier, but I can't use the server at the moment because I've been doing quick jobs and you can't do quick jobs on. Start a new profile, you see, so. Can't do. Long Are you guys not feeling the mis uh, the Volvo, no? That's just not feeling the Volvo, I don't think. I don't mind it, like, I'm not against it. I'm not absolutely in love with it. But... And they mud flaps. That'll do us to get started. Something different from the Scania? Yeah, I agree. Train horn is Michelin Man Volvo's winner. Yeah, uh, train. I uh, know. I can't. We can't do train horns. I don't. Uh, I don't have any. Right, so 209k without a paint job. I don't think there is any double paint job.
gonna run the dirty paint job, but you Just go, what do you reckon, chat? We're we gonna go red. I think we'll go red for now. No, no, double for now. Uh, five. Yeah, no, I get it. I did reckon. Yeah, it's good. The train hall mod we have is good, but I'm level locked right now, so uh, there's only so much I can do. Oh, TV is actually not bad. But in TV. TV is definitely a fan of it. a lot of the other mods don't work. Go with the bass again. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not bad though. Can run. Yo, oh, Bryn, how we doing? Oh, I can't run the rear dash lights. Cockpit lights, mate. What? No. It's somewhere different to drive, though. Right, are we? Are we definitely solid on the Volvo for now, chat? What? You Go on Volvo. Before I actually buy the bloody. Can't do dash light. Not doing Volvo, huh? Well, we've taken the piss a bit now, so. I'm tempted to go Volvo, boys, and live it. I haven't got any drafts unlocked, and I'm not. I'm not using stock trucks. I Definitely not using stock truck. Alright, uh, control speed, aren't we? Two hundred and two grand, four hundred horsepower. Can't afford any. What? Where's my truck gone? Oh, uh, it was doing this the other day. There, it says it's locked. Oh, bollocks. So... Doing this to us the other day when I was trying to set up a new profile. Right, so we're going to have to buy the Volvo. Bollocks. 
Oh, I'm going to buy a Scania at some point. There's absolutely no doubt. So I think we go... So... I think we go Volvo. And we swap it. Yeah. Yeah, right. We'll go Volvo and then we'll go to the Red Spanner. That's what I was trying to say. Go on that now. Fuck's it. We won't have access to trailer dealer. See, this is this is the bit I was trying to say earlier. This is my concern. So we can't buy trailers at certain levels. I have to just. I just want to get on the server, you see. But that. These are 18 grand and we've got a truck. So now I should be convoy mode. Now we should be good. The main, the main part, point of today for me was to get in a convoy mode, and I can't convoy with out a truck. So we've got a truck, twin axle, reasonable horsepower. We'll just have to save up and buy another one. <laughs> At least I've got a reason to truck now. Gotta take your little brother, no bother, man. I've just got to wait 45 minutes for the processing. Level 5 where you unlock trailer. Yeah, so we'll we'll use this Volvo to get to the point where we can buy a trailer. Uh, then we'll, we'll decide what we're going to do. But I drive Scania's way too much, so I'm quite happy to have a change. It'll only be another 45 minutes or so and we should be able to get in. Yeah, the processing just takes so long. Hey, it's all good. Is it the death file I'm stuck on, is it? Can't see. It's not a death file, is it?
Yeah, I'm not stuck on the death file. Oh, mate, it takes me forever, mate. I have to keep quitting out and then co come back in and then quitting out and then come back in again. It takes forever. I always do it before stream, but with the server crashes the way they've been, like, it, I have to process it. There, so. One of the things that's been putting me off coming I restarting again. Yeah, oh, it's brutal, man. Oh, the death on the ridge. Yeah. I know, but there's some of the mods we've got in there are compressed to hell as well, like. A lot of mods in this server. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no crashes. Obviously, I was trying to do quick jobs. It was crashing like a f can't do quick jobs. You can't start a profile on the server, so. It does normally take about 10, 15 minutes. Normally I can walk the dog, come back and it's still processing, so it will be, we will be here a while, but once we get past here, we're, we're moving now. Yeah, it's brutal, mate. It's brutal. I'm on Gen 4 as well. It's not even like I'm on a slow hard drive, you know what I mean? All right, next, how are you doing? Yeah, he's good, man. All right, let's get my seat in position set off. I wish I could go further back in the seat, man. Oh, as far back as we go. Only thing I don't like about this cell is I can't see the chassis in the back. I did forget about that. Want 
sounds good. Oh, the, the so sound point of view sounds fantastic. But no brakes, so I'll give it that. I do have to hold. You actually might need the toilet. I don't know what time we on six. Don't know whether to take her for the toilet and just leave the stream on. She actually might need the loot. I'm not playing with her because she's tired. And you baby. Might need a quick toilet trip. Right, so we'll go with that. Same with that. It's got a 12 speed in it. Dash. Dash was one we were going to look at, innit? Okay. Come here. Can't paint the skirt or anything on this either, can you now? Yeah. I got no ball bar on it. Oh. Hey, come here. Is everything okay? Is it me or no? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Nifflin. Good? Good? Okay. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You good? What's the diameter of the steam wheel? 350. Uh, it's 350. What do we do, chat? Do we take her out and then just crack on for another hour or so? I didn't actually realise I'd been on this long. Well. Oh. Oh. I'm still so new to the whole warning thing, like it puts me right on edge when she starts doing this. I don't know if she's trying to tell me or not. Yeah. I'm gonna go and take her out. I need to know what she's after. Oh, that's fire. Can I, put, can I run the dark headlights in? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's clean. I know. I'm just trying to work out, like, where I go with the truck. Like, do we go... 
Like full everything. Because that's only 20 grand. So I can drop the engine down to like a 400. Brings her down. I'll even drop her down. Yeah, so if I drop her down to like a Euro 4, like we can run with that for now. I do need a sat nav in the truck though. Sat nav. Huh. I've got 18 grand. That's a dollar. Sat nav. Power 100. Oh, uh. oh, but at back seven eight. Function over beauty. Nah. Not bad, mate. Not a bad starting truck. All right, we need to go make some money, right? Let us go and let this dog out, and then I'll be back.
All right, all good. So, let's go. Me first driving me new truck. I haven't solely been in a Volvo for so long. So, four grand. I'd rather go up the way, but we're going to have to go... Oh, that's got a ferry in it, though. Definitely want to stay away from ferry. Go with that. Uh, you know what's addictive when you first buy your first ever truck? Modification, man. Can't help but like want to be modified, you know? All that stock. The only thing I would like to buy is Oh, there, there. There we go. One euro. Ah, oh, bad. Oh, I just want to get some lights on it. Some I don't think I don't like about this mod, you sit so close to the windscreen. Yeah, this mod you sit like is zoomed into the windscreen, but If anyone's jobless, I'll have a job on the board in about 65 miles. So the other downside of starting a new profile online is I can't join anyone else's jobs. I don't have the points to join. Screens are nice. So if you look at the actual game, that's what the game looks like. If you look at my screens.
I'm picking up from uh, on Lake Tom, how are we doing? Uh, I'm picking up from not on the board. Just wait until it goes on the board, mate, and you'll be able to quick travel here. Uh, I'll be there in like five minutes. Yeah, it'll be on the board. I'll let everyone know once it's on the board. You'll be able to see where I am in game if you want a quick travel, like. Uh, it's an Alma indicator box from Alma. Good man. Come to the right place. Here anymore. Nine grand, but a hell of a ferry drive. Right, we'll have to take that. Five grand. Cubs on the board. Who are we waiting for? Barry's on his way. So where are they going to come in from? They're going to come in from over here. Man like Tom's on his way, but I won't be able to see him yet, I don't think. I don't know where we'll, where we'll be able to see him. There he is. There we go. Breaker one nine, mic check. 
Loud and clear, loud and clear. Scary. That's it for now for the for the job. Thumb struck's nice, isn't it? Nice truck that. Having the server is absolutely awesome now, oh, by the way. Hey, scary sun coming in, I think. I think it's just them for now. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got some housework to do. I've got some washings to put on. I've got some grass to cut if uh, if it's not raining. So I won't be on tonight, but I will be on tomorrow definitely. I was hoping to get a couple of hours streaming today, but we're already doing all right. So. Oh, he went for the doubles. Very nice. Really young. I don't know how old he is, but he's a young lad. Oh, that sounds lovely, that. Forty mark. Ah, uh, he's on the stream. There he is. Uh, big Tom's here, so we'll get we'll get trouble. First drive out on the new truck. He's gonna have to do two setups soon. Getting to that age where he's gonna he's gonna have to truck with his son.
So the question is, do we do we actually move into the Volvo? Do we modify it and enjoy it and love it? Or do we use it to just make money? Do you reckon chat make money or I don't know, the engine wise, I wouldn't mind stepping it up a little bit on horsepower, but engine wise, truck's fine, like. the kind comment. It's all clear, boys. Yeah, 30.90 in this one and in the other computer. Ah, 
it'll be a long time before I upgrade, like a long time. Uh, the only thing I would upgrade, like in in between that, is I'll probably go to uh, uh, DDR5, probably 14th or 15th gen, I would imagine. Are you in the car at the back? I mean, I can follow you in the car if you want. You got a 2060, yeah, 980 Ti territory, that. Then come fast if you want. Here in the road is all clear if you want to come to the front. He's a beast. Not good on this game, though. I'm sitting at, what, 170 frames on 6K. So it's not it's not good on this game. 4090 is a tank, but not, not on this game, it isn't. Uh, just do about 50, mate. 55, 50 is good. I'm doing speed limits because I've got fines on, so... Well, that's it, got fine. Yeah, it's a chance. Yeah. I mean, 100, you're on 2K. So you're on 2K, you what you on? Like, five, the G9, you got five, seven, sixty by? 1440 is it I think? I'm on, what am I on it? I don't actually know if I'm running 2K or 4K, I can't remember which one I'm on. Yeah, 5120, so if I'm running 1440p, uh, I'll be running, I think it works out with like 7840 by 1440, but the biggest difference between you and me is I'm rendering 2K three times, you're not. So you're rendering 2K once, I'm rendering it three times because I've got triple screen rendering turned on. So I'm technically rendering 6K. So I'm on a 9900K, an old 9900K, so it's only 8 car. I'm streaming. I'm running two different cameras. I've got the game maxed out with everything you can put on. And I'm currently sitting at like 164 frames. Uh, old, old graphics cards are better for this game. There's literally no use to a 4090 or 3090. There's just no use to any of them cars in this game. Yeah, I get about 160 I'm getting while I'm streaming. I've just gone up to 174, back down to 158, so yeah, down about the 150 mark. But I'm streaming as well, so I forgot he doesn't know where we're going, he hasn't the job. He'll have to follow. 
But yeah, with my 2080 Ti running the same setup, I could get over 100 frames with a 2080 Ti running this maxed out. No bother. All the cards are better for this. And the 4090 is built for 4K, like, built for 4K, that thing. Awesome card, though. Just not very good in all the games. Aye, with a 4090 though, mate, you've got to get on triple screens, holy fuck. You've got to get on triples. If you've got a gaming room, just go and get yourself... Just go and buy yourself three 43 inch monitors. You'll never, ever, ever look back. I love trucking with these boys because everyone waits, nobody drives through each other. Yeah. Yeah. No room for triples? Uh, I mean, technically that's not true. You could run triple 27s or triple 32s. Technically. If you can run a G9, you can run triple 27s. Mm. Next up the same room. I'm not going to lie, with the current situation, <coughs> I could never physically afford to go triple 43 inch monitors, I, I really couldn't. So if I ever have to change, I'll be going down to 32s unfortunately. I don't want to go down to 32s, but I will be. At least we've got some money now. I'm going to struggle to pull 35 ton. Ten grand though, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it. Ah, not bad mate, yeah I'm not too bad Mary, how is yourself? You're all good. Top Gear, how are you doing? How long for this work? Still gaming on that, Murray, eh? Is there a red spanner around there, or not?
it's going to be a slow pull this. First upgrade is going to be stick some lights on the truck. Might try and stick a slightly bigger engine in as well. I'm quite happy dealing with the, the lower engine, but I definitely need some lights in it. I'm not in an IVAC or a pair. <laughs> You're not wrong there, my man. What are you guys thinking? You happy with the visual setup now? You happy with the camera? You happy with how everything looks? I think it's great. I'm generally probably the happiest I've been with the setup for a long time. i tell you what, I can't believe changing these ear cups made this headset like poor comfortable. Like, the comfiest headset I've ever had. Do you need fuel, mate? Yeah. I, I had the tunes on and the windows open so I couldn't hear you. It's not a bad first truck, that, you know. Don't hate it. Alright, go on, I'll follow one of you boys. Uh, a 
it's console mode I'm using, it's not walk mode, it's console mode, so you uh, you use zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we, we gave them a good go, but basically what happened was they smashed us on day one there, like, honestly, they were just hitting us, like, you know, we yeah, we weren't even getting one person down, like, we were doing 5v4, and then four of them were just flattening us, like, then a couple of things happened, and then the next day, all of a sudden, we started being able to get a couple of them down, still outgunning us. And then me and Dean sat down one day and were like, yo, why don't we just take the turf? Like, we're fighting for two bits of turf. So we said, well, in between fighting, why don't we send five out to fight them? So what we did is we, we, we recruited some boys. We sent five people out fighting. And while they were fighting and getting smashed, we, we three of us went and took the turf. So then we said, well, what we'll do is we'll take turf that we don't want so then they, they don't have enough drugs to take back the turf that they're fighting over and take back their own turf. And then we smashed them on turf for two or three days. That had slowly winning the wars a little bit. And then uh, we just smashed the home turf as well. We took everything, like, we just smashed everything, mate. Like, they're complaining because they reckon that we were putting a thousand drugs into something and then they were, they were having to put 10,000 drugs in. I'm like, that's not how the system works. Like, we were putting stupid numbers in there. Like, there was one morning me and Dean sold 17,000 joints. So, <laughs> that was just in the morning. So yeah, we smashed it. So when did you get the quick release? So I got the quick release yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. I'm going to order another one once I can, definitely. Yeah, he's left me, man. We'll catch up. It's just, I, I'm only just under 400 horsepower, so... I can get I can get to the speed eventually, but... It takes a while to get up there. There we go. Pick up some base lights for the truck, that's the next purchase. We're sitting on six grand in the bank. We're about to get another ten. So Yeah, Mary Zeke sold most of your turf. He sold it to the Greens. <laughs> I think that upset everybody in the uh, OG group. Uh, sorry, GD. He just gave the turf away for seeds, man. Yeah, I couldn't believe it, man. Hello? Yeah, real shame, but... We... Because we took the docks as well, you know, so we took the docks as well. But so one day, Vargos flew in and we just took everything. Uh, so we took the docks as well. And... But we, we said to Chris, we were like, no, if you, you want the docks, take it, mate, because I'm not going to, we're not going to fight you for it. We, we're not that bothered about the docks, we just took it, because we didn't want any yellow on the map, you know.
I was a new Moser whale, loving it, mate. I wouldn't be using it if I wasn't loving it. I don't know why this stigma is kicking around that people just use stuff because it's sent to them, but I've never been like that. Never ever been like that. The only one I was a little bit like that with was the my, uh, my drag racer rig, which I did admit to that. I didn't really have another choice. Holly! Hey! Hey! No! Holly! I don't know why she's barking. Someone at the door? Alright, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, what's she shouting at? No one there. <laughs> oh, knob. Probably gonna make this my last job to be honest chat because uh, he's, he's up in the boat now. Starting to get a bit restless and uh, to be honest I I got a way longer stream in than I thought I would so I'm quite happy with that. What do you reckon chat? We start trying to do longer streams instead of more streams, if that makes sense. I'm gonna try and see if we can stick some lights on this though.
Man, this thing is struggling. Yeah, man. How are we all doing in chat? Is all good? He's all happy. Oh, big lad. Huge lad.
Right. Uh. Ah. Right. So we're nearly on to level five. It pulled it really well. So where's the <coughs> red spanner here? Gotta be one some Blast down to the red spanner. Red spanner there. Purely because I want you guys to see what I do with the crop and I'm gonna have to run to I have been on a bit longer than I thought than I thought I'd be. Putting it that way. Right, so we've got a little bit of money to play with. So do we have enough money to do wheels? I'm gonna go with no. But wing mirrors at it. Go with them. Four hundred pounds. Wheels are gonna set me back. Twelve hundred. One pound. Wheels that I actually like. There are a thousand. I actually, uh, we'll go black. We'll go black, or do I just go rusty? I like, uh, like them. I go with that for now. I'm a fan of that, like. That out. They look rusty, yeah. They look nice.
probably go over there. I need the truck usable and I want it to look like nice ish, but I also don't want it to look brand new because brand new. Right, so my main part of call is can I afford put lights on her? Three and a half grand, put thirteen grand. the chrome of I light just need light I need to be able to bloody issue or a Uh, 14 grand. Fifteen six. I think that's a good place to do it. That's a big price. Right, I'm gonna knock the plastic on the head for now. Looks alright there. So what's the difference? Can I step it back up in engine at all? Oh. Four hundred grand. Sixteen seven I think. Definitely, I need, definitely need that. The only thing is, what have I got in at the minute? I've got, step her down to uh, that 12 speed. Why isn't that? Why am I paying for that? Fourteen. Is that more expensive? Wise. Afford to go to the Euro, but I couldn't afford to go. Oh. Why is my truck gone back to? Paint all it. I did. Fourteen grand. Yeah, I, see, I kind of regret buying the truck because I wanted the truck I could put the dirty paint job on. I can't put the dirty paint job on this truck. So I'm kind of regretting my purchase, if I'm honest. But, love the sound of it. Right, that's going to be me, boys. I'll see you all in the next one. Nailed it. Looks alright. Actually don't hate me truck, you know. I thought I would hate it, but I, I really don't. Nailed it. Hey, chat. I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what time I'll be on. I won't be on tonight.
Definitely not. Uh, I've got uh, I've got stuff to do in the house, so I'm gonna be dog sorting and stuff. So sort a dog out, chill with the dog, sort the house out tomorrow. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't know what time I'll be on. Probably about afternoonish. Uh, but first time I've done a four-hour stream in a while, so I've enjoyed that. See you all later. Have a good one.